everyone, it's Allison. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to more Christmas in July inspiration using products from Spellbinders. In one of my recent videos, I had mentioned that I was saving some special cardstock and this is the video where I'm going to show it to you. This is the treasured cardstock from Spellbinders and there is a lot of it on this card. Uh, I kind of pulled out all the stops here. So here is the gold assorted pack. Again, this is the treasured cardstock, and there are five different finishes in this pack. Uh, and there's three pieces of each kind. There's pearl, mirror, brushed, matte, and glitter. And I love how this pack has all these different finishes because I like having different finishes. There's certain things that I, I like to have glitter for, but I also like having the, the matte. That's the one I'm pointing at. That's actually one of my favorites. Um, and I'm also going to show you there is a silver pack and there's a rose gold as well. So I'm going to use the silver and the gold on today's card. Um, I will be using the rose gold coming soon, but I really kind of liked having just the two-tone on this card. We're going to be hot foiling. So this is the Pine Sprays Hot Foil Plate. This is from last summer, and I'm taking some of that silver glitter metallic cardstock, and we're going to hot foil on it. So I have silver hot foil, and I'm laying my hot foil plate face down onto the foil. The foil is on top of my paper. And when you're hot foiling, you just want to make sure that the shiny side of the foil is facing the hot foil plate. So I'm using my Spellbinders tape to secure everything together so it doesn't shift. And I'm just pressing the button. I'm speeding through this. That's why it's flashing so fast. Um, but you just press the timer light, and as soon as the timer light is stops flashing, you know it's time to take it to your die cutting machine. And you just run it through your die cutting machine like you would your normal platform and plates. So let's see what we get. Um, I don't know if you've ever tried foiling on glitter cardstock, but wait until you see this. You will want to try this. And by the way, I did not burn my fingers just now. I, I kind of have been doing this a long time, so I know how not to burn my fingers. But look at this. Again, silver foil on silver glitter cardstock. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, this is the Copper Plate Warm Wishes press plate. This is a better press plate. And this is new. There's a bunch of sentiments in this collection. Um, we're going to foil with this. And I'm using, it's called polished brass foil, but it looks like gold. I use this a lot. Now, somebody was recently asking me if I, if I have the better press system. And the answer is no, I don't. Uh, I foil with better press plates. And... I plan on getting the better press system at some point. I just haven't yet because I get very distracted by new toys. So if I were to get that, I would probably start playing with that and not doing all my other projects. So it's, it's not that I don't want it. It's just I have enough going on. And um, look at how beautifully that foils. So I have better press plates. And so when I get the better press system, I will be able to use it with that as well. And I, I love how they do double duty. Now I did foil this sentiment a second time because I decided on a different layout and I trimmed it down with one of the pierced rectangle dies from the nested postage set. You see me using that a lot lately. And now here's the Delivering Joy sleigh. This is new and how precious is this? My plan is to cover up the swirls at the bottom of that foiled sentiment. Um, I actually had planned on not foiling it, and I forgot. Uh, so you can, I could have just not put foil on that part of the better press plate, and it wouldn't have foiled, obviously. But I forgot, and that's okay. 
So I'm popping this panel up on my glitter panel with some thin foam tape. And now I'm gonna pop my sleigh up on some rather thick foam dots. And by the way, for the sleigh, I use that gold matte cardstock. I love it. And I think I use the brush silver for the top of the sleigh and then the bottom of the sleigh is those silver mirrored cardstock. And I'm just gonna show you one of the presents and how these work. There are, I think there's three present shapes in the set, but there's only one of these dies that makes the ribbon. And so they fit each of the different size present, presents and then you just trim off the excess. So it's really easy. And that way, you know, they didn't have to include three different size dies for the ribbon. This one just fits all the presents. So I glued them in there. And the reason I popped the sleigh up on foam tape is so that I could tuck my presents in here. So I'm tucking this very last one in there. And by the way, if you can't tell that one, I made with the gold glitter cardstock. And there's some silver glitter cardstock presents and some brushed silver. Now I cut a pine branch from the silver glitter cardstock, which I think ties nicely with that background. And I have this point set up. This, these are all part of this sleigh die set. So I'm just kind of playing around here trying to figure out how I want to attach these. Now the poinsettia, like most spellbinders poinsettias, they're really meant to be layered like this. But I felt like it just looked too big compared to everything else. So I'm just gonna keep my flower as just a single flower. I think it's really cute and it just doesn't look as big. And I'm gonna put a silver pearl embellishment on in the middle of the bows on some of the presents and also in the middle of the poinsettia. And here you can see all the different metallic finishes and how well they work together. Like I said, I used some silver mirror, the gold and silver glitter, the brushed silver, the gold and silver matte. I mean, I used almost all of it. And look how gorgeous it is. It's just really special. It's a really special card. Uh, and you know, if you've watched my videos, I don't normally work with a lot of metallics, especially not this much. Uh, and by the way, here's the final picture. You'll see on the top right, I added a few more of those branches and another point set. I felt like it was a little out of balance before, so that's why I put that little bundle up there. And here are just a few close-ups, so you can see that gorgeous, gorgeous silver foiled glitter cardstock. That is it for me today. Pretty short video for me, right? Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the shiny, glittery goodness and all the hot foiling. Uh, if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.